I'm going to show you how to set up your approved sender email address. Make sure that Feedback Genius can send emails on your behalf since we route messages through your Amazon Seller Central account. You just need to check and make sure that your email address listed here in Feedback Genius matches an approved sender. So I'm in my account, in my Feedback Genius account. If I click on my name, sorry, my email address, and click on settings, and then marketplace settings here in the left hand sidebar. In this column here, you'll see approved senders that are listed for each of my marketplaces. These are marketplaces that I've connected through my initial setup with Seller Labs. And you can also see the status of these marketplaces. And this is also a good time to just check and make sure that each of these statuses are active. If any of these are inactive and you would like them to be active, then you need to click on this chat button down here and connect with one of our support agents who will get you reactivated. Now, the approved sender column is going to list uh, by default your email address that you signed up with for Feedback Genius. Now, sometimes people sign up for Feedback Genius with a different email address than their Seller Central email address. If it matches your Seller Central email address, then you do not need to do anything. You have your approved sender listed uh, correctly and you are all done with this step. If your email address listed here does not match your Seller Central login email or one of your approved senders, then you would simply click on the edit button and replace this email address with the email address that you use to log in to Seller Central with. You might also have a list of other approved sender emails that are able to send emails on your behalf. Then you can also list one of those emails there. I'll hop over to Seller Central really quickly. You might not need to do this, but if you wanted to double check, if you're in your Seller Central account and you click on this messages tab, and this authorized emails link. This is where your registered senders are listed and you can add approved senders. Any of these email addresses will work to be listed in your Feedback Genius account or you can add more to it. So here, I'm going to edit this to match my Seller Central login email. I'm going to click save and then I'm going to do it for every marketplace. So that we have permission to send emails through Seller Central on your behalf. This is a really critical step because if it's not correctly done, then we are not able to send messages. You will see that Feedback Genius is sending messages if you go to the Send tab, but they will not be sending out of Seller Central and reaching your customers. And one last question that people usually have is, will your customer actually see this email address? And the answer is no. Amazon Seller Central, uh, the buyer-seller messaging system will send, will um, encode or encrypt that email address so it has a anonymous email address that is sending out your messages. So whatever email address you put here will not be seen by your customer. So as long as it matches your registered Seller Central email or an approved sender in Seller Central, then you are all good to go. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to us through our support chat. Our agents would be happy to assist you.